Roller, shout out to Hoop Journey. Yo, what is going on guys? Julian from Hoop Journey. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel. Tonight's matchup, we have the Charlotte Hornets versus the Dallas Mavericks. Rookie battle between Dennis Smith Jr. and Malink Monk. Dennis Smith finished the game with 26 minutes played, finished off 10 points. Two rebounds, nine assists, and three steals. So didn't score too much, but was really just getting everybody involved. And Harrison Barnes would leave the Mavericks in scoring with 24 points, five rebounds, and a steal to go along with that. So big game from Harrison Barnes. Dirk Nowinski, I believe, made his debut tonight. Finished off 14 points, nine rebounds, two steals, and two blocks. Moving on to Malik Monk. He finished off 14 points, four rebounds, three assists. So decent game from Malik Monk, really, and he was playing point guard a lot this game as well. So maybe, uh, you know, he, he might become a one guard, but I'm pretty sure he's more suitable at the two guard. Great shooter, not, sh not shooting too good. This preseason, he's shooting somewhere around 34%, which is not that good at all. Dwayne Bacon, their other rookie, they picked in the second round. You see him right there with the big three, finished off 14 points, five rebounds, four assists, and did get the start tonight. So Dwayne Bacon, I think, has the most ready NBA body so far out of the draft. He's, uh, you know, 226-7 at the guard. Nice, uh, nice position for him to play. And, you know, he was a prolific scorer at Florida State. So, you know, Charlotte did have a nice little draft class with Malik Monk and Dwayne Bacon. Probably an underrated draft class, in my opinion. But, yeah, man, Charlotte, uh, they're rebuilding. They're probably going to make the playoffs with the additions of Dwight Howard. And Kemba Walker is an all-star. Finished off with 18 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, and a steal and a block to go along with that. So, Kemba Walker does Kemba-like things. And, uh, yeah, man, Jordan Brand for all of Charlotte players, basically, because Malik Monk and Dwayne Bacon, both rookies, are assigned to Jordan Brand and Kemba Walker as well. Nice finish from New Orleans Noel, who finished, only played 18 minutes. Did not score much. Those were his only two points of the game. Finished off four rebounds and a steal in the block. So, Nolan's doing well. They're freshly signed free agent from Philadelphia. Um, not too much of a big game from him, but they're resting him. Look at Dwight Howard getting work in the post. He had a big third quarter. Finished off eight points, 12 rebounds, three steals, and a block. But, yeah, man, Dwight Howard. We'll see if Michael Jordan can resurrect his career. Another block for Howard right there. We'll see, man. He's already 30, man. He's out of his prime for sure. Was one of the best defenders, if not the best defender in his prime. Just sad to see him when he left the Magic, just go, his career go downhill. And uh, yeah, man, going back to Dennis Smith, who's in the conversation for Rookie of the Year. A lot of people are rejecting him to win it. I don't know, man. Dennis Smith, I'm a fan of him. At NC State, he was dominating. And in high school, you know, he had one of the best mixtapes and uh, high school careers. But I still think I'd go with Lonzo just because he uh, will carry most of the load for the Lakers and put up the biggest numbers. But we'll see what Dennis Smith does. I believe he got the start tonight over J.J. Barea. J.J. Barea did start a couple games this preseason over him. We'll see how that situation gets figured out, but I definitely will have Dennis Smith starting in the regular season over J.J. Barea. But man, uh, Dennis Smith, we'll see if he can compete for Rookie of the Year. I want to see him in the dunk contest, though. That's what I want to see him in All-Star Weekend. I know he'll put on a show in Los Angeles. Dwayne Bacon pulling up, did not hit the three, but then nice ball vision and able to slam that one home. And this was a very close game throughout, but the Charlotte Hornets just started to pull away during the second half of the game especially during the fourth quarter you see Dirk still playing in the fourth quarter with a nice little mid-range jumper everybody trying to get warmed up for the regular season everybody's hyped Dwayne Bacon pulling up and uh yeah the Hornets would come away with the 111 to 96 win over the Mavericks in their final preseason game won't see both of these teams until the regular season starting up in a couple days and a nice slam from Cody Zeller there. He had a decent game as well. Finished off with 11 points, 4 boards, 3 assists. Not too bad. Also had no blocks but uh, and a steal. So Dennis Smith driving to the rack. Put up those 2 points. And uh, just not enough. You see the lead already gone. And this 3 would just be the dagger. And Charlotte comes home with the win at home. Let's get it on.